So I will say I saw everyone's comments about this thing being hooked up backwards. I reached out to a few different people with Everlast. We got it figured out. I don't know uh, how or why I did that, but uh, yeah, I don't know how it even produced results that it produced, but uh, it worked. But now we're getting something like that, and we're getting something more like that. And like this so thank you for saying something that's why there's uh, the comment section if you guys want to give me constructive criticism that is always great I love it keep spreading the word and making people smarter it's uh, better for the world especially with how the world is right now we don't get political on this channel and we won't but uh, yeah let's uh, keep it on that note we're all here for learning, so. I actually got this car in here right now. It's a Tim Subaru. And as a lot of people know, this thing is rear wheel drive. It, uh, it's been a drift car for a while now. We're putting a cage in it. You'll eventually see that, but you've seen it drift on the channel before. And basically he gutted out the stock center differential, the front where the all-wheel drive comes in play and uh, basically there's just the transmission right here sitting on the table all gutted out what we're doing is got this quarter inch plate we used a hole saw this is like a three and three quarter inch hole saw and it sits basically has a perfect little lip to sit on. We're just gonna TIG weld that all the way around, fill the hole in the center of course, and then uh, basically we're just getting rid of all the dead weight that is sitting in his car right now. So, this thing's already rear wheel drive, but he has everything in the car still just has uh, the stubs of the CV axles cut off and they're stuck in the diff instead of doing this route. So now he got a couple spares and we're trying a few things out. So he's got it gutted out, losing extra weight, getting rid of stuff that you don't need to make this something it's not supposed to be because that's what's up. So honestly, we're just gonna basically go right at this. I got the Everlast. We're gonna be running, it's gonna be set up at 250 amps. Uh, 125 hertz for our frequency and our balance will be at 35. We're running CK Worldwide 8th inch laser tungsten, uh, CK Worldwide 300 or 230 series flex head torch. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, uh, 5356 rod, 330 second.
can't complain about that. You guys can't smell it, but oh my god, does it stink. Ugh. I'm gonna fill that little middle hole quick. So that's what we'll get. That's what the inside looks like. Welded pretty nice for it. I didn't even really clean it. Like at all. So just run these settings. I actually was at 200 amps, 125 hertz, 35 for my balance. Advanced square wave, it's really all you need. And then, uh, CK Roblide laser. Works out pretty good. Well guys, uh, let me know if you uh, like this camera. It's a little bit different from what we're usually used to. Um, kinda like it. I get to be able to do some uh, some different shots, some nice nice arc shots and all that stuff. I really, uh, I'm really digging this thing. Uh, so yeah, if you guys wanna see more weird stuff with like weird repairs or like stuff that's oddball let me know so uh yeah i hope you stick around drop a comment below hit like if you would subscribe for more hope to see you in the next peace out